Hi, it's Jamie here of Jamie's Faces on behalf of facepaintingtips.com to show you this cheetah design. So I'm starting off by loading a high density sponge with white paint and I've gone up between the eyebrows up about um, an inch and a half and covered the eyelids and then just taken it up along the side of the brow and that motion I was just trying to really get it into the eyebrow area so the eyebrow gets covered up. And then I pulled it down alongside the nose, a nice wide muzzle, and um, covered the nose and the upper lip. Special thanks to my model. Okay, here I've got a sponge loaded with Diamond Effects metallic yellow. And I've gone right underneath the eye and alongside the muzzle, and then pulled up to meet with the paint that I put on the eyeshadow and um, right along down to the corner of the mouth. So it creates like a triangle alongside the muzzle, under the eye, and then connects up to the side of the mouth. And then I filled in above the eyebrow that space as well. And here I've loaded up the sponge with the tag pearl orange and I'm blending all along the top of the forehead, right into the yellow, and then along the hairline, right in front of the ear and down to the side of the mouth. And now I've loaded the sponge with Tag Pearl Rose and I'm blending that um, right on top of the orange a little bit and again, right on the edges all around the design. So now you have a, a three color gradient. And here I'm going in with the sponge um, Tag Pearl Teal and just covering the eyelid and then I went up at the lower section of that white coverage. Now I've double loaded this sponge, first with metallic purple by Diamond Effects, and then second with black. And I'm using the BAM stencil number 1002 Cheetah, and um, I place it on the forehead and I'm pouncing the sponge there so that I'm getting a gradient from the purple into the black and again on the cheek area just along the cheekbone and on the other side if you load up your sponge nice and thick and not too wet um, you should be able to get all of that stenciling in without reloading now I've got a number four round brush loaded with black and I'm starting uh, the nose. I kept it really thin because that's the way, you know, it looks in uh, photographs of cheetahs. And then the line down to the center of the lip and then I try to cover the top lip and then have the joining part be more of a triangular little shape there. When I had an asked her, I always ask, can I line your lid? Is it okay? You know, if they're, um, if they're ready for it. So I went ahead and lined her, her eyelids. You just get the right consistency of paint, not too wet, not too dry. And you can just do it in one stroke. And I have them keep their eyes shut for a good 10 seconds. And now for the muzzle, I pull thin to thick and then flick in toward the center. And then flick, flick for the three flicks. Now we're covering the bottom lip with metallic rose by Diamond Effects. I added some pink glitter on the pink areas. And then I'm going back in with my number four round and just adding little dots from thick to thinner on the ends of those sections of the muzzle. Some small little kitty fangs. <laughs> and then I finished off with um, the tag orange. And I think I blended some yellow in, in there as well, and just um, some furry edging on there. It's optional. 
So there you have it, a super colorful, super fast, high impact cheetah design. Hope you guys are inspired. Thanks for watching.